Hi, I'm Maude Apatow and this is my everyday skincare routine and red lip makeup look. First, I'll take this headband so I don't get my hair wet. I also have this cat makeup bag. First, I'll start with cleanser. Then I'll use toner. When I started working and wearing more makeup, my skin got a lot worse. So I needed to come up with a routine. And this one I've used like all through shooting Euphoria and it's worked. Except for this last week when I broke out. I definitely learned not to pick my skin because it spreads. Like I never believed that when people told me that. And then I learned that if I pop it, they, they travel and that's probably what happened here. I'll go in with some moisturizer. My skin's pretty dry. So I try and use a lot of moisturizer. I'll go and use some eye masks. I'll use this Shantikai face roller and I love this one, it's amazing. Definitely when I'm working, my skin gets a lot worse and it's taken me a long time to figure out products that don't make me break out. And even still, like I think it's just wearing so much makeup for so many hours and reapplying it and reapplying it, it just gets like, it's so hard not to break out. The one big thing I learned though is making sure all of your makeup's off at the end of the day. Because I'm gonna do a red lip, I'll do a lip scrub. Here's the Charlotte Tilbury lip scrub. My mom is super into skincare. She's always had like a million products and she's always trying different things. Whereas I like have a few products and I just stick with the same couple. But my sister is like really good at makeup and skincare and really into that. She's like amazing at it. And I think my mom and I learn most of the makeup tricks and skincare tricks from my, my younger sister. I'll put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil. This stuff's so good. Next, I'll use some sunblock. I sometimes get ahead of myself and ground myself into the ground. And so I feel like my best self care is just like laying down with my cats, watching TV, just totally trying to, trying to relax. I have four cats. My parents have two cats and I have two cats, but my Landlord doesn't allow cats in my apartment building. So now my parents have four cats and <laughs> they take care of all of them. Okay, let's move on to makeup. Luminous Silk Primer. Next, I'll use this Beauty Blur. My makeup artist on Euphoria used this on me and it makes her skin really glowy and pretty. On Euphoria, they sent us so much makeup for season two because the makeup was such a big part of season one. So we called the makeup trailer Sephoria. And I was always trying to figure out how to steal makeup because they didn't really like us taking it. But I'd be like, oh my God, I like makeup reasons. I'm going out tonight. Like I forgot my concealer. Can I like try this one? And then I take it and never bring it back. And then, I'll use Luminous Silk Armani Foundation. This is the best foundation ever. This is a new brush I just got, Artise. Look at how pretty. I think I've always worn a little bit of makeup, but I'm not like very good at makeup. I definitely love like looking at makeup and buying makeup and trying it. I just don't know if I use it correctly. Next. To cover up all of these marks, I'll use this NARS concealer. I'll usually just put some on my hand. Then I'll go in with the NARS soft matte concealer. So I'll just put it directly on the spot. I usually put a lot on too and let it just sort of sit on there for a second too before I blend it. I was shooting Euphoria a couple months ago and I got like three gigantic zits on my forehead. Like you couldn't cover them. They were so big and they stuck out. And like, we tried. We're shooting and I said to Sam, our director, like, I've got these zits, be careful just with the lighting and stuff. Cause I don't want to 
accentuate them and he's like oh yeah yeah no worries and then he looked on the camera and he was like oh no and i was like oh no and then how bad is it he's like it's fine and i was like should i like turn my head a little bit he's like yeah 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 Let's just turn your head i'll tell you when to stop and i was like and then he was like stop so because they were so bad you couldn't even cover them so uh he just told me not to show my face at all it was a joke but uh okay then i'll put some concealer under my eyes my next step is brows. We usually start by brushing them up. My eyebrows are pretty thick. I try not to touch them too much because middle school, I definitely, I don't know. You know how everyone on TikTok talks about the super thick brow? Definitely did that, wasn't a good look. I'll go in with a brow pencil and just sort of fill in just around the arch. My mom told me not to over pluck my eyebrows when I was really young. Now I listen to her, but I didn't. I didn't when I was younger. But she has very thin eyebrows and they never grew back from the 90s. I will go in with a clear brow gel. Just brush them up. And this usually lasts most of the day. I'll bring brow gel in my purse though, just to make sure they stay intact. Then I'll go in with this Lush. I usually put it on the apple, is that what it is? The apple of my cheek and then up. I definitely like watch all of these videos and see that everyone loves blush. Like Hailey Bieber and Madison Beer bought the blushes they had. I remember when I was, I don't know, 13 and Zoella interviewed One Direction and she said that she used this like eyeshadow palette, like a Lancome one and I bought it because I thought she looked so pretty. And it, it didn't look great on me, but that was like, a, I think the first thing I bought online because of a, a YouTuber or a beauty blogger. Then I'll go in with an eyeliner. This is Jillian Dempsey Cool Eyeliner. It's brown. I'll usually just do a little bit and then smudge it out. I mean, it's always so weird when you're making a show because the first season, like none of us knew if anyone was gonna watch it. We all knew the makeup was so cool. Our department had Donnie Davy is like a master and she's so good. This season she made these books and she printed out a bunch of pictures of all of the girls' faces and like drew the makeup on paper. And so she had binders and she'd name each scene and they try out makeup looks like that way. No one really expected it would be as big as it is. And it's so crazy like seeing people doing euphoria makeup. And I'm so jealous. I feel like I'm too, too shy to wear that bold of a look. Then I'll go in with this Armani eyeshadow and I'll just put some like in the crease here. In this season, my character sort of starts out shy and sort of comes into her own as the season goes on. And you see that with the makeup too. Like her makeup looks get a little bit bolder. We're so lucky that we're all like such good friends and we all hang out in the makeup trailer. And even if we're not getting makeup done, you'll know someone's in there and go hang out with them. It's really nice. Okay, then I'll curl my lashes. This is another product I bought from one of these videos. I love this mascara and I also love the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. This is what they used on me in Euphoria and it makes your lashes look like you're wearing fake lashes. I'll use both. Okay, I'll start with the Laura Mercier. Then I'll maybe use a little bit more blush. NARS Liquid Blush Orgasm. I'll put a little on my hand. My sister has been doing a cat eye since she was like 11. She loves makeup. Like she used to want to be a makeup artist. Her cat eye used to be really bad. And we always laugh about it because there are all these photos of her from middle school. She'd just have like a little crusty, like curly cat eye. But she practiced for many years and now she's amazing and can like do it without looking. So whenever I need a cat eye, I ask her. And then I'll go in with some bronzer, Guerlain bronzer, terracotta. I'll just take a little bit of that with the same brush. Put it around here. 
before I had like a good makeup artist for like any red carpet thing that I would do myself and like think in the moment it looked really good. It just doesn't photograph the same. Like there's such a like art to doing makeup for like flash photos like that. There's this Laura Mercier, the Laura Extreme Matte Lipstick. This one stays all night. So if I wanna go and not feel like, oh my gosh, is my lipstick like, on my teeth there's my lipstick like getting messed up like this never moves it's so good and it doesn't dry out your lips too much because i don't usually use a liner with this one i'll just start like as if it were a lip liner i just feel like a red makes any look more fancy like almost like i look more put together when i wear a red lip I have friends who say, oh, I can't pull off red lip. I'm like, I don't think that's true. I think anyone can. Then I use this skinny brush sometimes to put concealer around the lips so they pop more. I definitely experiment more now. Like, especially being on the Euphoria set when they're trying all sorts of different looks all the time and different makeup and different techniques. I think I've learned like so much from all of them and I try and watch. On Euphoria this season, they were straightening my hair every day and so by the end of the shoot like when my hair was like down here it was so damaged because even like using heat protectant and other products on it to try and help it and masks all the time like basically i needed to chop my hair off like there was no hair it was like dust like i literally went like this and it just like crumbled away so i chopped it and now it feels like super healthy and i'm liking the short hair i need i needed a change too it was it was it was time I'm going to change all my pajamas into my outfit for the day. Thank you for watching. Bye.